Court, the last time a Kennedy has served in a uh, presidential cabinet uh, was uh, Robert F. Kennedy Sr. when he was the attorney general for his brother, uh, John F. Kennedy. Uh, now, Robert F. Kennedy, uh, his son, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., is going to be serving in a cabinet position, but for a Republican president, Donald Trump. The Trump campaign making it official that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. will be his next Health and Human Services Secretary. The sins of the father have come back for the children in Wes Craven's and Nightmare on Elm Street. This horror movie classic from 1984, we meet Freddy Krueger. In life, a serial killer and child molester, but in death, something far more supernatural. Killed by the parents of a generation earlier, Freddy now tortures and kills the children of Springfield in their dreams. No one is safe in a film that is clearly a metaphor for the assassination of John F. Kennedy and the permanent effect it wrought on generations that followed. On November 22, 1963, President Kennedy's motorcade made that fateful turn onto the real-life Elm Street in Dallas, Texas. This is where the true nightmare on Elm Street occurred. The nightmare that would shape the dreams of anyone born into its filthy, smoke-filled aftermath. Without better planning, 2020 could be the darkest winter in modern history. First and foremost, we need to be truthful with the American people. Americans deserve the truth. The truth must be based on science. I'm Dr. Rick Bright, and I'm going to tell you how we can prevent the next pandemic in less than 100 days from its first outbreak. Three things hold the key to an early pandemic response collection and sharing of data, a trusted early warning system, and modern data analytics to pull it all together. As part of our work to create a Pandemic Prevention Institute, the Rockefeller Foundation is already building the partnerships and tools necessary to meet this ambitious goal. We're committed to making these measures transparent and equitable, and we believe they will keep the next outbreak localized and controlled wherever it happens in the world. It's important to start now to avoid the damage of another COVID-19. It's the only way we can stop the next deadly disease in the first 100 days. That's how, together, we can stop pandemics for good. What you've just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. If we turn against each other, based on divisions of race or religion come on try getting it out that's all folks